greetings everybody. Today I am going to be doing a sort of introduction video of myself. Um, someone suggested I do this, why the hell not? Uh, so, what is going to be taking place on this channel, the Manic Rhymes channel? Well, first off, I'm Manic, uh, and uh, I am from Maryland, and that's basically all you need to know about me. Oh, also, yes. Um, I am quite gay, and if that ha and if that gives you conniptions, and if that uh, um, is a problem for you, I don't want to be associated with you. Go away, shoot, get out of here with your bigoted beliefs. Anyway, on this channel, I am going to be covering gaming content, like say playing a few games every now and then. I've been this channel really started as a gaming channel, but I kind of want to move away from that. I already did a whole video on this. Um, but I will also be talking about lore, the darker the better, uh, of like fictional stuff. I might even talk about some historical uh, oddities occasionally. We'll see what comes up. I don't want to just talk about uh, SCPs, but I could also talk about them. But also, I want to cover more firearms content. So I own a number of firearms, and I really do enjoy the history of them, why they were made, how they were made. Um, what purposes they served, and other things like that. So, you know, that's going to be something I'm going to cover on this channel. I'm going to have ammo reviews slash evaluations. I already have a small series going on it, where I show off some ammunition I got, and then I will show the results at the range of said ammo, and give a conclusion to see if it is worth buying or not. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I already have some... Uh, ammunition waiting for said review, and uh, well, we'll just see how that goes. So, quick introduction to my rifles. M9130 Mosin Nagant, made in 1938, fully matching from the Tula factory. Uh, a little rough around the edges, but an otherwise incredibly immaculate condition. Sharp bore, and extremely good trigger. SKS from China. This is a Noriko factory production, made in 1957. Chambered in 760 by 39, semi-automatic, 10-round internal magazine fed via stripper clips, fully matching garbage trigger, uh, but this thing is absolutely phenomenal. I really do like this rifle. It also has the very cool flip-out bayonet. So that's pretty cool, right? Krieg's model, Krieg's model, 1945 Car 98K. Rough condition, but the bore is sharp, the trigger is okay, the action gives me some issues. Um, so yeah, I will be reviewing some... Oh, it also has Nazi marks. Uh, I will be reviewing some 8mm Mauser. Type 99, or 99 Type, Arasaka, from probably 1942-1943. It is a Series 6 Nagoya Arsenal, um, and it's in very good condition. Very sharp bore, great action, great trigger, lightweight, fairly lightweight actually. It's the lightest rifle I own, but the ammunition is extremely expensive. Last but not least, a big juxtaposition. This is a kel RDB made in Florida, and it is in 5.56 or 2.23, because you can use either. Um, bullpup, so the, the, uh, the business end of the rifle is all back here. Takes standard AR magazines. This is a little awkward to do. Um, yeah, it's a 5.56 rifle, and uh, that's all you need to know. So, the majority of this content is going to be firearms content. I do really, I really will be doing more of that. I will have some at the range videos, and eventually I will find a place where I can just shoot random bullcrap and just have some goofy fucking fun. And that's pretty much what I want to do with this channel, is just to have a lot of fun. Talk about different things, uh, lore, firearms, video games, music, a lot of other stuff I want to do on this channel. Talk about a lot of stuff. So, if that's interesting to you, come on, stick around. We'll, we'll have a lot of fun here. And, uh, yeah, I hope y'all are cool with, you know everything. Uh, some person absolutely wasn't in one of the comments. Disgusts me. Uh, but yeah, all that being said, welcome to the channel. Stick around. We get up to some nonsense.